Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Star Rate 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome, come on in. So first off, I just wanted to apologize right off the bat for the air conditioning. <laughs> it just kicked on and it sounds like, yes, it's very, very loud. So I will try to speak louder. Hopefully that will just be in the background. Um, it's getting up to 101 today here and it is already really warm this morning so gotta have that air movement sorry guys all right today is Father's Day so a special happy Father's Day to my dad and here is a little poem that I found that I just want to read it says happy Father's Day a dad is a person who is loving and kind and often he knows what you have on your mind. He's someone who listens, suggests and defends. A dad can be one of your very best friends. He's proud of your triumphs and when things go wrong, a dad can be patient and helpful and strong. In all that you do, a dad's love plays a part. There's always a place for him deep in your heart. And each year that passes, you're even more glad, more grateful and proud just to call him your dad. Thank you, Dad, for listening and caring, for giving and sharing, and especially for just being you. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> yes, I'm getting choked up. God gifted me with <coughs> just a lovely, lovely father. And... I couldn't be more proud to call him, that's my dad. <laughs> yep, that is my dad. So, not only do I have an earthly father, but I also have a heavenly father who loves me unconditionally. So, I have two dads who love me unconditionally. Alright, so, let's do our love and light. And then, we have a few things to talk about. And... Else. All right. I will show you uh, my work in progress, and yeah, and we're going to be making some things today. It's Sunday Fun Day. <laughs> All right. Let's see what our message is today. Look at life from a higher perspective. So it says, look at life from a higher perspective. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. Proverbs 4, 7. There's a pretty card. So, you know, I'm just thinking of that. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And my father, both my fathers, um, definitely have given me wisdom through my years. I am 54 years old, or will be 54 this year, and my dad is in his 80s, and I can't tell you how old my Heavenly Father is. <laughs> I don't think he ages, so. <laughs> oh, he's the sparkle in my eye. <laughs> yeah. But so yes, very, very good message today. Thank you. So, love that. Wisdom. So, so important. Alright. My husband and I did a graduation on Timu. And also congratulated all the graduates out there. But we are giving doing a giveaway for that video as well. So, if you haven't checked that video, please go and check it out. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow will be your last day. So, uh, to answer the questions. So please, please go and uh, do that. We would love to have you in the draw. And um, yeah, I think that's it. We went over that. We did it. Um, hmm. So yeah, so, so there are, oh, the influencer program. That's another thing. Uh, thank you for all that participated for the campaign. And yes, Weird did win. Uh, my husband counted them up last night and he says, guess what, honey, weird one. <laughs> so regardless whether or not we get that seeding money, which I, 
I really hope we do. We need to wait till July 1st to find out what Timu is doing with the influenza and affiliate program. So, um, but in the meantime, you can always just use my code. I'll have it linked here for you guys. Uh, anyone can use that code and that just goes to the affiliate program and I get something like two or three percent off or I get two or three percent with how much money you spend so it just gets linked back to me which then I can put back into um, the stuff that I buy from Timu for you guys to share um, and for my giveaways so so yeah uh, let's see what else we have we have that so weird one okay so we had happy father's day we had our message of the day we had the weird one we had the graduation giveaway we're gonna look at our work in, or my work in progress for this week you'll see how much I did complete and then I will do uh, maybe a little bit of um, diamond painting and oh I know I know we're gonna make cover minders that's what we're gonna do so again happy Father's Day to other fathers out there um, just you guys are all such a blessing <laughs> Don't forget that. All right, guys, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to turn you around and then get you set up and you will see my hands next. Alrighty. Welcome back. <laughs> Miss Sheba here. So Sheba is being entered in a lot of different events. And um, this is my progress on her for this month. Um... She's going to be in um, Feline 24, Feline Love 24, and that's with Diamond Grandma and Diamond Nana. Uh, she's also going for Fabulous Flowers for Tita's event and uh, Starman's by Tita. She's also going to go with Paint Along with Friends, or Paint with Friends. And True Vampire is um, hosting that this month. And then she's also going for um, Bewitch Cat and Share Our Shine event for the jungle theme. So, um, oh, and Paint Along with Friends is animals. So any kind of animals is, is uh, their event this month. And that's, but anyway, so this is my progress on Sheba. She's almost halfway done. She's looking absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I'm not sure about is this color here. Um, if you can see it, it's looking a little bit uh, kind of a reddish brown where these spots you can see are brown. So I do notice that, but I got half a butterfly done already and it's looking nice. So <clears throat> I will have her halfway done today, I'm sure, by the end of the day. And so that's my Sheba girl here. And drills are going on really, really nice. Really nice and sparkly. I've had no issues at all working on this uh, diamond painting. This one was a custom. I got this image, I believe it was off of Facebook, and I just loved it so much, so I got it into a 50 by 60 image, uh, just so that Shiva was able to uh, be seen a little bit more, and I just, and the butterflies and everything, but yeah. These flowers just turned out absolutely gorgeous down here. And just like, almost just like the uh, thumbnail. You can see the thumbnail here. Hopefully I can bring that up to show you. But yeah, so that's the thumbnail. So. Like I said, almost looks exactly like the thumbnail down here. So they did wonderful with the colors. And again, this was a custom diamond painting off of Timu. So got that one. And then, oh, this is my big one. Now this one comes from Jimmer Designs. And I was doing it for uh, my celebration with Paint Along with Friends. And the one that was hosting it at the time was um, <laughs> my car, my, uh, my chef over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, yes. Um, oh, how come I can't think of her name? Oh, I'm so bad. 
Anyway, and I just left her a message this morning too. Um, Crafty Chef Diamond. <laughs> I think that's her name. So anyway, as you can see, I do have it on a roller, but this is how this one is coming out. Oops, let's just put that back in there. I can. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see, you got Canadian flag is coming out. This one is a square. And I've had no major issues with it so far. Um, some of the drills have wanted to pop every once in a while and I've noticed every every usually I'll look it over and I'll see either I missed one or one has popped out so but yeah overall it is coming along really really beautiful look at the shine on this one and yeah so as you can see this is a Canadian flag it's gonna be the Canadian flag in the background so I think it's gonna come up to about here and then of course our maple leaf and the fireworks and then down below here on this side is going to be some people there's some silhouettes of people over here and this one is a huge one this one is uh an 80 by 60 so and you got some silhouettes of people over there so i'm almost halfway done well i'd say i'm i'm kind of at the halfway point so I'm not sure if I'm going to get this done by July 1st. I'm really going to go try. And however far I get, I at least want the Canadian flag done um, by then. So, but yeah, like I said, it's a very nice painting. It's, it is, um, I like it again. It's from Dreamers Designs, uh, I think. I still have a code for them if you're interested in taking a look at their website. And I'm just gonna, whoops. I'm just going to, because I messed up there, but I'm just gonna roll this on the roller here. And that is that. Oh, sorry, I bumped ya. <laughs> that one back up there we go so that is my dreamer so those are the two that I worked on my dreamer design and my uh, my Timu one that's what I worked on um, this week so what are we gonna get ourselves into well I got her some glue oh yeah we're going to work on this girl here too there she is. We're going to work on her. Or we're going to start her last week, but I ended up um, doing a whole question. <laughs> whole answer and questions. Questions and answers. So, yeah. And then in here. So, I got um, all this stuff, Constantimu. And, yes. If you're not familiar with Timu, Timu has lots of different things, lots of different um, products. They have, uh, of course, a whole bunch of things you can make. They have tons of crafts. If you're into crafts, Timu is a place to shop. Awesome prices. Um, but they have household goods. They have, they have automotive. They have all your needs. They have clothing. The shirt I'm wearing today, I got from Timu. Um, the earrings I got are from Timu. Today I'm wearing my shirt that has my um, songs on it. So, excuse the wrinkling. I got these. They were 39 cents a piece. And we're going to make little cover minders into them because I do want to put them in my giveaway. So, and then I also have these little characters here and these were this whole package was 95 cents and again these come from Timu and then I also have my owl here I want to uh, see if we can glue some magnets onto it okay where's uh I know there's an opening here somewhere there we go <laughs> and we will do let's see let's put them all out these are so cute. 
So, so cute. So you got your little bunny. Oh, little tulips. And you should have two little bunnies. And you have two little mushrooms. And then you got two daisies. And then we got our two little um, duckies. So anyway, so then we are going to... I think that's it. We just need to start gluing. So this glue here is called um, B6000 and I just got it off of Timu. So we're going to see how well it's going to stick to rubber. Let's take one of these. Oops. Of course, they're all gonna get stuck together. Oh! Now these are very strong magnets. <laughs> My goodness, nice strong magnets. I think I finally got the right size. So, pop it on there. I'm just that. That's it. There's one. Now this one does have a bit of a seam, so we'll see how it works. So what are you guys planning today? What are your plans? Me? I think I'm just going to stay indoors where it's nice and cool. Of course, I'm going to talk to my dad on the phone, and um, otherwise I think I'm just going to stay cool in diamond paint today. I'm just going to hold this down just a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to, that's what I plan on doing. Maybe we'll go to town, maybe we'll go for an ice cream or something. Um, I'll take my husband for ice cream for Father's Day. He has uh, three boys of his own, and I have three girls, so we are the Brady Bunch. But they all live away from us. His kids live in, um, a couple of them live in Minnesota, and one lives in uh, South Dakota. Of course, my family's all up in Canada, and yeah, so we have no family close by, but they're just a phone call away, or a, what do you call it, a phone call or a um, FaceTime, <laughs> uh, whoops, FaceTime away, you want to run away. See if I can balance these on here just till they dry. Nope. You know what I should have done was take the tops off. Hold on. Then they can just sit up straight. There we go. Haha. -ha. Do another one here. This glue here was a really, really good price. I thought it was going to be like just this little bottle. I can't remember what the price was, but I know it was like two or three bucks for this big bottle of glue here. And it's supposed to be really strong, so it says it's a surprise it's a surprise adhesive force. So yeah. Alright, so we got those ones done. Now I just wanted to see with these ones. Oh, yeah. I was afraid that these might be a little bit too big, but they're not. Oh, well, that jumped right back on there. <laughs> very, like I said, very, very good magnets. So how many 
of you are also entered into the events on uh, whether it be Diamond Grandmas or Diamonds by Tita or, or how many events did you guys enter this month? Me, of course, I like to do them all. And thank goodness I found like one painting that was able to work with most of them. So. So happy there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nope. Oh, this one just wants to stick. Okay. Alright. You stay over there. They're already gonna. Oh yeah, that's. I shouldn't put these two together. That was a bad idea. <laughs> you know I'm gonna mess. Oh dear. Okay. I think I. I don't think I can um, separate these two. Did I bring a napkin? No, I didn't. Of course not. So, of course I'm gonna get glue all over myself. And these are going to be totally glued, but oh well, what can you do? Don't put those together. <laughs> not a good idea. Okay, we're not going to put those together. Leave them separated. Because yes, they are very, very strong. Look at these strong magnets. I mean, very nice and strong. Um, so yeah, they'll have no problem with connecting once he's dry and uh, for cover minders. So this one I probably is going to end up being, I don't know what, there's going to be stickiness on that side as well. But anyway, we will save these. We'll just do those for now, see how they turn out. Put these ones back in their little packages. So what's the temperature where you guys are today? Are you having like a hot, hot day like here? Or do you have cool weather? Here we've just been in a heat wave all week, almost all week. It's been just absolutely crazy. Oops. Okay, now I got glue stuck on here. There we go. And this is nice because it comes with a little needle top there. I don't know if you can see that. But you just stick it right back into the hole and that way it never closes on you. Which is really, really nice. I like that. All right, so those are our little, stack them up over here so they're out of the way. Hopefully they'll dry and we can see how well they work. All right, so we're gonna work on this little Precious Moments uh, little uh, native girl. She is just adorable. I just love her. She does come with a stand, so we're going to work on her. And I got her all kitted up here, labeled her off nice. Now, let's use this pen and let's use this wax. We'll get a new one out. This wax here I got from, um, this is just one of the waxes that came from the Centrum Wand kits. And I really like this wax, it goes on clear. And really, really like it. So, we are going to start off with, 
Oh, geez. I'm hoping that's a one. Yeah, they look like ones. <laughs> Just pull this back and I'm gonna start right off at the bottom usually I always start at the bottom oh see we need a tray don't we there we go that out of the way I am left-handed so my apologies if I'm covering this up So as many of, as many of you know, I did grow up on a farm. Um, my dad was a farmer. He actually started working for. He was like a helping hand when we were smaller, and then when um, when they retired, my dad took over the farm or bought the farm. Uh, we lived on a chicken farm. We had uh, four. Was it four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four big barns, and they were usually always filled with chickens. Now we had the babies that would come in, so they were like not even a day old. We would get them and uh, raise them until they started laying. So they were laying hens, and um, then they would get shipped out to laying farms. So where all your eggs come from in the store, yeah. Uh, we would raise those chickens and we had a very we had a pretty big farm um, also my dad would do farming he would go and uh, always out in the fields um, when he could and helping his neighbor helping his cousin Helping his friends, he absolutely loved farming, and <clears throat> that was so much fun going along and um, helping. Well, not really helping, but just hanging out, <laughs> uh, driving the big uh, trucks alongside of the combines. Uh, so yeah, I never did drive the big trucks, but. Uh, I think I rode in the big trucks. So there was four of us. I have an older sister. She's five years older than me. And then an older brother who is was he three years, I think, three years older than me. And then I have a twin brother. And he is up in Canada. We talk at least two or three times a week, so we have a very close relationship. But that was our family on the farm. And my dad worked very hard. Uh, he would spend hours and hours and hours in those barns. Um, <clears throat> and of course, as kids. Uh, if we weren't in school, we were playing outside, and as we got older, if we weren't in school, we were helping out in the barns, so, when needed. <laughs> so when, like, little chicks came in, there was things that need to be prepared, um, so we would help my dad out with that, and then, of course, when the trucks would come to take the chickens away, they'd have to be, um, packaged up in these crates, so... We helped out with that, and but so yes, my dad was always a very hard worker. He worked right up to I think maybe one or two years ago when he he's kind of semi-retired, and then he did retire, but he does still work out in the field, so. Um, sp springtime and fall 
that's where he'll be. He'll be driving either a combine or tractor or whatever. He still um, helps out some of the farmers around and he just absolutely loves his farm life. He collects John Deere tractors. <laughs> so for Christmas last year I made him a beautiful John Deere tractor um, diamond painting and I also made him a picture of these like three chickens and they're like uh-huh yeah what's up <laughs> I mean that's what they kind of look like it was kind of a funny picture but uh, I think he got a good chuckle out of them so a lot of ones so all in here too is all ones Uh, my father made sure that we went to church every Sunday. Didn't matter what kind of weather, whether it be stormy, flooding. <laughs> uh, he made sure we went to church. That was very important to him. Um, God is very important to him in his life. And he definitely taught us right from wrong. He was a very loving father and still is a very loving father, um, but he was strict. Well, not strict, strict, but I mean, we had definitely rules that we needed to follow. Um, my mother, I'd say, was more strict than my dad was, <laughs> but, um, but let me tell you, and I don't know how many of you ever heard this, but wait till your father gets home. <laughs> uh. But yes, I think we were more afraid of uh, my mom than we were of my dad. But, uh, very quiet. Um, but he is someone that would give his the shirt off, the, off his back in a heartbeat. Um, he's willing and anyone is having any kind of problems at all, he would be the first one there to, if he could, to help you out. It's just what kind of man he is. And like I said, I'm very blessed to call him my dad. So what are some of your memories of your dad? Let me know. I hope those, I think those are still ones. <laughs> I know I was gonna work down here and then I got working up there, oh dear. this week my puppies are going in for their haircut so I'm really excited about that uh, their hair is getting so thick and I bet you they'll feel so much better once they get their little hairs cut um, still waiting to hear from the surgeon about Pixie's leg uh, the medication is helping though she's not limping as badly or whimpering when she's uh, walking so that's a plus. We got some pain meds for her as well as some joint medication. So I really think that she had hurt her knee way back when she was about four months old. Um, my husband, I, my husband and her were playing, and he had thrown a toy, and he she was on the couch with him, and she went and jumped off the couch, and she hurt her leg or her hip back then. And she let out this just, oh, it was just an awful, awful cry. So, of course, she took her to the vet, and the vet said, oh, she mis dislocated her hip. So, just make sure she stays off of it, and um, it will heal on its own. So, for, for, I think it was like four weeks, I had her tied around my hip <laughs> so she wouldn't jump. I was so afraid that she was going to uh, wreck it worse or something, so yeah. So that was like four weeks. And uh, Blizzard, as you can see, is over there eating dog food and thinking that he's a dog, I guess. Blizzard will eat anything. Blizzard also is the one that eats plastic. 
plastic. What are you doing eating plastic? <laughs> but yeah, he'll eat anything. But yeah, he's munching down. And he knows he's not supposed to. Blizzard? Is that your food? Blizzard? No, he's going to ignore me now. He's like, you know what? You're doing a video and you can't see me. That's what he's probably saying. Lizzie. Oh dear. Um, it's not good for him to eat the dog food. At least I don't think so because of course they have like different stuff in it. But what can you do? There he goes. Now he's listening. Lizzie, don't eat the dog food. Crazy cat. They're very set in their ways. 8 o'clock, if you're not feeding them, they're starving. It's like, my goodness. What would you do out in the wild? <laughs> Probably starve to death. I don't know. But yeah, 8 o'clock in the morning is their time to eat. And then I think Blizzard could just graze all day long if he was allowed to. We, I usually end up having to put the food back up just because he's like that and he would just overeat and then of course we have a big mess to clean up afterwards and I'm sure there's a lot of you cat owners out there and cat fur baby lovers <laughs> that know what I'm talking about when it comes to the cats and overeating and or just their hairballs or whatever they upchuck is just, yeah. But. Yeah, Pixie and Ollie are still back uh, sleeping with my husband. It is morning. It's, what time is it? About probably 9 o'clock I'm going to say here. Maybe a little bit. Um more by the time I got set up and going so probably 10 o'clock by now and 90 degrees already outside so we're just gonna finish these ones and I think we'll be done for today we'll see how we'll see if those magnets um, if the glue st actually st if the magnet actually stuck to that glue I might have, have to try a different option out of place this is nice and sticky so no problems with the stick here at all ones are done. At least down in this area. I don't see any more ones. Uh, who knows? I could be missing some, but I don't think so. Oh, there's one. Did miss one. One right here. There we go. Oh, it could have been. So there's sevens, and then there's ones, and oh, I just don't like how they do that. So, I don't know if you can see that, but... how well that's going to focus. But anyway, so right in this corner here, they have sevens here, and then they have a one. And they look just exactly the same. How are you supposed to know the difference? Where's my camera? I don't know if you can see that. Nope, it's saying I'm not going to focus. <laughs> I tried to show you guys. But anyway, there's a seven and there's a one. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to close her here. And we'll throw these ones back in here. 
Oh, when I was opening this bag, <laughs> this number one bag, um, oh my goodness, there was a hole in the bag and I didn't notice and I shook it and these drills went everywhere, all over the floor, all over Pixie because Pixie lays right beside me usually. She was covered in them so I ended up having to uh, pick them or tried to pick them all up and um, I'm sure I have extra somewhere in case I run out for this little girl here. But because I'm sure there was still lots on the floor that we swept up that didn't get back into the package. But anyway, that's our progress on her. Let's check this. Yeah. Well, that's how well that stuck. So yeah, that did not do the trick either. So someone says, oh, try this glue. It works really good. Well, it doesn't like this rubber, that's for sure. But we're going to try it again. Maybe it just needs to dry longer. Maybe I moved it around too much when it wasn't quite dry. I'll get some super glue. Well, I think this is supposed to be kind of like super glue. This, uh, this stuff here. It says waterproof, flexible. It's paintable, so you can paint up. We can paint on it. So we're going to just leave this one sit. And we will try this one here. So this one is the one that, oh yeah. So it works really well if you uh, stick it to the um, resin ones. Nice and sticky. And let's see. Let's see how well it works. Let me get out a small diamond painting here. This one, of course, has glue on the back of it, but that's okay. This is my little star uh, diamond painting. You're a superstar. So what you do with these in case you're just like, what is a cover minder? So say you're working on a painting and you don't want to uh, cover this with anything, but you want to leave the plastic on, you put that on top. Okay, where's my, you slide that underneath and it's supposed to go together, maybe. Did they go together? Yes. Yeah. Oops, and there you go. And there's your cover reminder. And then you can just slide it all over the painting. And the diamond's supposed to follow along with you. And there it is. So it works really well. And there's my first little cover reminder. Be like, yep, I made that. And voila. So it sticks very well, holds up very well. Very nice. Actually, I made some before. Um, I'm not sure how well they're going to stay, though, just because um, I didn't use this glue. I think I just used a hot glue gun. So I'm not sure exactly how well that's going to stay. But yeah, very, very good magnets. Very, very nice. So that works well. So I'm hoping that this is going to fasten onto this rubber here and that these are going to turn out really cute. Um, this is my little owl I've been using and as you can see it's got my wasted drills in there or my garbage drills and so yeah and these little guys came from Timu and yeah it's not sticking I'm gonna have to try to find a different way to stick onto this rubber here so this this batteries or this uh, one's not working for this glue Onto, at least not onto the rubber. So maybe with the rubber I'll have to use a hot glue gun. We will figure it out. If you first don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, let me close this. My little star. Um, I hope you have a most wonderful day. If you are spending it with your dads, make sure. Or if, even if you're not spending it with your dads, make sure you call them up and wish them a very happy Father's Day. Um, 
and so from my home to yours have a most wonderful day out there keep safe uh, keep weather aware keep hydrated and God's richest blessings and I'll see you on the next one